go to Google and write DLSS Swapper, click on this one, and go to the releases, click on this one latest, go down and click on the .exe installer, this one. After you click on it, it will download, install the application, and then uh, after installing the application, you can open the application by going to your start menu, searching for the application, its name, and open it. But uh, I want to say a disclaimer that I have uninstalled the NVIDIA app um, because some people said it, it may interfere with this method and um, it may it may not make it work properly. So uh, you can try doing this method without uninstalling the NVIDIA app. But if it doesn't work, you can try uninstalling the NVIDIA app and see if it works or not. So um, I will open the LSS Swapper and after this, go here. And uh, go to the DLSS and wh which, uh, whatever you see here, just click on install because this is the latest version, DLSS 4. This is supposedly, this is DLSS 4. So click on install here or download install, whatever it says here. Uh, it will be like this icon. For me, it says export because I've already installed it. After this, go here. And if it doesn't show GTA V Enhanced Edition, automatically just click on add game. Add game here and find your uh, GTA V folder for me. I'll go here and I will find it. I will select then select game folder. And uh, because I've already added, I cannot add it again. I'll show you here if I go to the same location. As you can see here, as you can see, GTA 5 enhanced.exe. So this is this is the folder that you need to select. This is the folder. This is this is the one, and then just select it because you can see the XC is here. And after that, you click on it. After you added it, just click on it and find the DLSS here. Click on the DLSS, and as you can see, I've already done it. So mine says reset your DLL to its original. If I click this, it will go back to the default, but I don't want to do it. So when you open it, just click here on the first one, uh, 310 to 1, um, which is DLSS 4. This is the latest one. You must select the latest one and click on swap, uh, whatever it says here. Yeah, just click on swap. Uh, for me, I'll click on cancel, and after this, you just launch the game. Minimize this and launch. I don't know if you can close this or not, but I just minimized it. It's nothing. So minimize it and launch the game. I will show you a screenshot. Oh, before th before launching the game, you can go here and uh, click and see the LSS developer option. Show on screen indicator. So you must enable this if you want to know uh, if this method is working or not. Well, you can actually, uh, you can tell if, because the, the LSS forge looks very sharp and very good. So for me, I enable this so I can know if it's working or not. I click on enabled for all the LSS DLLs and uh, yeah th that's it uh, you can launch the game now and I'll show you a screenshot if you launch the game when you go to the gameplay like when you start playing and you enable the LSS the LSS 4 on quality or whatever preset you want it will show up to the left uh, side corner like the bottom corner it will says render preset K which this preset is the supposedly the latest one and it will say 310 to 1 uh, which is actually if I go here I think it's the same Yes, uh, 310 uh, to 1, 310 to 1, yeah, it's actually, actually the latest one. So as you can see here, it's showing everything, it means that it's working. Yeah, so uh, I guess if you have any problem, you can uninstall NVIDIA app, and uh, uh, I, do, I don't know, uh, if you have any more problem, I legit don't know any other fix. I just know the uninstall the NVIDIA app, and that's it, so I hope it works for you guys.